Hi YouTube. Today I just wanted to show you this uh, travel box that I made for my son. It's actually, um, he's older so he, you know, those little travel ones that they sell, they just look too little boyish for him. He's 14 but he still loves to play with Legos. This actually started off as a, just a storage box. Um, and I painted it, I painted it black, hold on. Okay, so the box was actually clear when I purchased it. It's a clear box and I painted it with Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte Paint. You can see I got some paint on there. So it's a uh, paint for plastic. So it says Bonds to Plastic Ultra Matte. So what started off as a clear box, I painted, and it came with dividers that you can further divide this. Uh, this one here is permanent, but it kind of works for me because I put this little Star Wars kit, um, the Star Wars 75226, I don't remember what it's called, the kit itself, but this is one of the smaller kits, and so I put all the pieces in here and then the pieces from this Lego Classic kit fit here. So it's perfect for travel. I put, originally I only put the Lego, I cut it down. Uh, my husband cut it down for me. He used, I forget what tool he used. Anyway, uh, I'm sure there's different ways to do it. I saw somebody use uh, exacto knife to cut it down but I cut it down to size here which um, hindsight I would cut this down a little bit shorter because sometimes it gets stuck on this lip my husband's thought about either cutting this down for me a little bit more somehow or just cutting this slip down a little bit so it doesn't get stuck when I open it so just a couple millimeters more and it would have been perfect anyway so if you hold this on your lap and you can have this side here this is just the, the separator that comes with each Lego piece. So I use that uh, E6000 glue to tape, not tape it, but to glue this down and it's really secure. And then when you close it, there's also, um, well, you have to make sure this is not where the divider touches. Okay. So when you close it, uh, there's another remember what this is called but I put another mat Lego mat base oh that's what it is it's a base plate the Lego base plate he also cut this one down to size and it's it's just perfect for travel it doesn't look too little boyish so my son's not embarrassed to play with it well I don't think he would care anyway but just it's it's more I guess grown up than the little Lego sets that they sell and just, I didn't want this opening up on its, like I, paint, I painted this all the way around, but I didn't want this opening up on its own while we were traveling and having Legos all over the place. Like, this is pretty secure, but you never know. So I made this elastic to go around it. I'll show you around it. So this is it. I. So what I did is I cut it down to size, I glued it with E6000 glue, and then I stitched along both sides so it's not too stretchy and this Lego piece doesn't cut off, fall off. This I just did for decorative purposes. I wanted either a red or a blue one, but this is the only Lego piece my son would let me use, or wouldn't allow me to use. I guess he can't really stop me. but that he would be okay and not heartbroken if I ruined one of his Legos. So the instructions actually fit perfect right there. So we can just travel, put his little instructionals, which he only uses the first time. Like he'll make this little thing the first time and then after that he'll take him apart and just make his own stuff up, which I really like that about him. Um, anyway, so it's perfect for travel. Again, this is elastic. We'll keep it closed if we're traveling. It, you know, it doesn't accidentally open and end up with Legos all over the place. And then you just take this off. 
you can either have it here, so grab your pieces and do it here, or you can have this open, have this part on your lap, and then this part, if I were to say, you can, you know, your child can just fill for you. you just build whatever you want. And again, this part is permanent, this little divider, but there's also dividers that come with it that you can divide this even further. But this is actually perfect because like I said, it does hold all the pieces for this one in the front here and then all the pieces for this back here. Anyway, so again, if I were to make this again, I'd cut this a little shorter so it doesn't get cut, cut on this. So, but it still works, it's fine. And again, what I use to glue the base plates on in the front and inside was the E6000 glue and it works perfectly. There you go. Perfect for travel on the go because my son, my son can play with these for hours so they're perfect for him. Anyway, I thought I'd share this idea with you guys. Hopefully somebody finds it helpful. Alright, bye YouTube!